Today we have a 2009 Toyota Corolla, 1.8 motor, it's the LE model. Um, it's got 200,000, it's been a great car, but they're starting to have some electrical issues with it uh, as far as the way the engine runs. And when they had it into a dealership, the dealership said that their ECM is failing. So we're gonna show you where that's located and options how to repair it. All right, this happens to be the Toyota 1.8 motor, excellent motor. Um, and your ECM on this vehicle happens to be right here. ECM is engine control module. Um, so what we're going to do is you could actually get it. Um, there's a couple bolts holding on the back back here. You could get it, you know, if you struggle. But the easiest way is just take this air cleaner out of the way. So we're going to take that out of there. First thing you do is start off by taking this, popping that out of there like that. Unplug this mass airflow sensor. Uh, we're going to undo this and this. This should just pull off right here like that. I'll loosen these up and then I'll take the whole thing out. Next thing I'm going to do, pop this out like this. I'll slide that off of there. And on the side right here, you can see that. Snap that one down. There's one on the back side here. Push that down. I'm going to pull this up like that. It should be able to pull the whole thing out of here, just like that. Put it off the side and remove our air cleaner. With our air cleaner removed, you can see we got three tens right here. And I'm going to try to do everything here with one hand. There's one, two. Okay. Now that should just lift out nice and gently like that. Just like that. And now we're going to be able to get at the ECM easier. The bolt's on the side there, and there's actually one down in the front. You can see the two on the back. Next thing I'm going to do is you pull these back like that, and these should pull straight off once they're released like that. Here's one. Come on. Two. And... There's a bolt down here. I've already pulled that one out because I couldn't hold the camera. You can see the hole down there. And the last two are right here on the side. We're going to pull those out and then I'll be pulling the ECM out. There's one. There's the other one. Okay, now it should pull right out. You can see this one right here mounts where that hole is right down there. This is our old ECM. You can see it's got uh, all the information here and it's got the bracket still on it. Um, and th this is the one they sent us. It's all programmed. We give them the VIN number and they programmed it for this car. It's supposed to have a lifetime warranty. They got a very good rating. Um, but if you look at the numbers here, they're exactly the same as this right here. So we're going to take the brackets off, install them on the new one, and reinstall this in the car. You can see it has these little T25s on it on both sides. The brackets are different, so when you take one off, you want to install it the same way it's on the old one. And then we'll reinstall it in the car. As far as I can see, they are the same. Like I said, I gave them the VIN number, so it's supposed to match up perfectly. I do have the brackets installed on the new one. And when I put this in, it's supposed to be a plug-and-play which is saying that you don't have to take it to the dealer to have it reprogrammed. So we're ready to reinstall it. I actually installed it. I couldn't videotape and hold it and put it in place. Started that one. Started that one down there. And there is a little hook holding the front right here. And there's a screw down here, which is hard to get at. And you can see the hole right there. Just perfect. You can see the hole. What we're going to use is this right here with paper. And I'm going to start that one down there. And once that's in there, then I'll tighten them all up. Once I've tightened that one and these two, we're ready to install the air cleaner. Move this off this side. We'll put the air cleaner box back in. All right, we're going to take that. That snorkel's got to go over that. And we look down through here and just line up the holes right there. We'll start those by hand. As you can see, they're lined up.
Okay. We just got to snap these in place. This is held right here. This slides on top of that. I put my air cleaner in, and then I put the, the cover back on. You can see that clips around that one. That just slides over that. We reinstall the air cleaner. And then we grab this. We're gonna lock these in place here, and then they clip down in the back. But I'll have to show you once it's done. You can see there's a clip in the back. There's one that actually slides down over. These right here fit in on the front. What you do is go over here to the side, snap it in place. Same thing on the other side. Put this on right here. Slide that in position. Plug in our mass airflow sensor. Like so. Clip this down in place like that and then i gotta go back and tighten this up and that should be pretty much done so you put this back on tighten this up make sure those are locked in and clip them down on both sides plug in our mass airflow sensor and plug this in and now they do give you something you put in your obd2 port um, and it gives you directions what to do and you're not supposed to have to take it in and have it reprogrammed it's supposed to be a plug and play with the instructions, you put the, that in the e, uh, OBD2 port. And what it does, you turn the ignition on. You're supposed to let it sit like this. You got to make sure your battery's good. And it's going to do this for at least 30 minutes. And then we come back, recycle the key five times with that out of the OBD2 port. And it should be done. When you're under the hood, it's kind of cool. You can hear the computer actually working, clicking, making all kinds of noise, and humming. So. Definitely doing something. All right, 40 minutes later, it's still going. Now it says to turn off the key and remove that out of the OBD2 port and then cycle the key five times. So we're gonna do that next. So that is all it takes to do an ECM on a 2009 Toyota Corolla with a 1.8 motor.